A geometric series is a sum of the term values of a geometric sequence. I can tell that this example is a geometric and not an arithmetic because it looks like it's multiplying the same number each time to get to the next term value. In this case, your r is 6. Now it's a series and not a sequence because there's no commas in between each of those numbers, there are plus signs. An arithmetic series has its own formula, so a geometric series should probably have its own formula too, and that's what's in the bubble. Now this formula looks a little bit like the TN geometric formula because you have your a times r to the power of n minus 1. But I guess the difference is instead of the minus 1 being an exponent, it's a big minus 1. Plus there's a denominator as well. So this restriction right here is about the denominator in that r can't be 1. Because as soon as r is 1, you're going to get a 0 as a denominator, and that's just going to give you an undefined answer. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over questions that are pretty much exactly the same as the arithmetic series video. But obviously, we're going to have geometric series um, instead of the arithmetic series. Okay, so they want you to find the sum of the first seven terms, and they've given you a geometric series. We know that it's a geometric series because each of the terms is multiplying by the same number each time instead of an addition, which would be an arithmetic. Okay, so your r is going to be this guy right here, and that's why I wrote it right here. Our first term is 3, and then since they said they wanted the sum of the first 7, n is going to be 7. Now we're going to sub in those three numbers into the formula. So as soon as you have your n as 7, let's write the 7 here as well, instead of sn. Then we just plugged in all the other numbers, and in red you'll notice that I wrote brackets. Keep your r in brackets. If your n is ever an even number, it's going to change your answer if you don't have your brackets. So you know what, why don't you just be safe every single time and just put your r always in brackets. Then you're just going to do bed mass. Exponents first. So you get that big number. Then before the multiplication, I'm going to do the combination of the brackets. Okay, so we get this. Then we multiply and we also subtract on the bottom. So I'm going to scroll down a bit and we get 1641 as a sum of our first seven terms. Remember that you could always take your calculator and just manually add them all together and see if you get the same answer, just as a check. The second question says, if you're given a geometric series that ends, how do you find the sum of all of it? Well, first of all, I want to find my r value, because I have my a. My r value looks like it's multiplying by 4 each time. And then this guy is my tn, because I don't have my n. They never told us what, or I guess how many terms there are, but this is going to be a clue. So I'm going to take my tn formula. I'm going to sub it into the TN formula for the geometric, and then maybe I can solve for my N. So my A was 5, R is 4, and TN is 5,120. Do not multiply these guys together. Remember, the 4 is going to go with the exponents first before it ever multiplies with the 5. So don't multiply them and make them 20. I cry when you do that. Okay, so get rid of the 5s first, divide them out, which means you have to divide this one by 5, and you get 1024. Then to solve for the exponent n, you're going to have to make this one with the same base. So same base of 4, that's 4 to the power of 5. And then I can say this indicates that the exponents are then the same. So 5 equals to n minus 1, and then I solve for n, which is 6. So this guy right here is the sixth term in the series. Now that I know that there are six terms in the series, I can then plug everything into the SN formula. So I'm going to scroll down a bit. And you're going to have the same A value, the same R value, and you're doing the exact same bed mass steps, and you get the sum as 6,825. Then remember at the end, because these are word problems, you want to just put a very simple therefore statement. The last type of question is where they gave you the first term, they gave you the last term, so since this is the last term, we know that, okay, there are six terms in the series. So I know my n is 6. And 
then again, this is your TN number, your term value. Then you're going to have to find the sum of this geometric series. They have to tell you that it's a geometric series or else you're not going to know which formulas to use. Let's use our TN formula to figure out our R. So we're going to sub in our A and our N and the TN. The negative 2's cancel out with this. Okay, so we're going to divide everything by negative 2. Then we have R to the power of 5 right here is equal to whatever's left over from this guy. And that looks like it's 16,807. Then to get rid of the 5, we're going to take the fifth root of both sides and we end up with 7. That was pretty convenient. Now that we have our rate, we're going to just sub everything into our SN formula for six terms. That means that if I add the first six terms together, it looks like the answer is going to be negative 39,216. I'm hoping I have it there for a statement. Yes, I do. Great. I'm hoping that you're recognizing that these types of questions are pretty much the same whether you're doing a geometric or an arithmetic. The only difference is obviously the formula that you're going to use. So you just need to know when to use a geometric and when to use the arithmetic.